Hi, how are you today? This is Julie Bling and I have another project using in symmetry. So my goal is to use at least one of each of the sheets of the designer paper that comes, um, that coordinates with this bundle. This bundle includes the stamp set and oh, the punch, symmetrical stems, symmetrical stem, this one right here. And the paper is beautiful. So this is the third project. <clears throat> Look how cute it is. Oh, and I saw this stampwithjune.com made a card very similar. I made just a few changes, but it is just so cute. Isn't that nice? So let's make another one of these today. And let's see the, um, the label right here. It's called Tasteful Labels. It's from that die set. Okay, so here are the pieces. This, I already die cut, but I want to do my something fancy with that. But I just want to show you, at first I was thinking, oh, I'll put a big flower on there. And you're probably saying, wait a minute. There's not a big flower in here, but it's this one stamped twice. One time, flip it around and stamp it down here which makes a big flower then I thought to fancy up the center I would use this stamp but you know it was too big I like this better so this is using the same stamp and just cutting it out but we'll do that in just a minute okay so okay this is on top so just with plain white paper basic white paper, I cut out the label, and my little something fancy is, if it has, so the cutting blade is right in the middle, so that means I could do my something fancy. And Lori, I know you say whenever you do it, it doesn't work. So, maybe because I'm doing it right here rather than just telling you, it will go a little bit easier. Maybe it will work for you today. So I'm just using my bone folder. And you don't have to be like how I just went up over the edge. It's okay because somehow you just don't see that. You see only this part that I'm um, impressing with my bone folder. And it kind of makes it look a little bit like a panel, like an extra layer to the die. And I just, I love how it looks. Whenever I get the opportunity, I do this. And I'll hold it up in just a second. So, yep, I'm getting a little messy in there, but somehow it works out okay. Okay. So... You can see what I did with the bone folder. Let me put it at a little bit of an angle. Just went along there. And it just gives this extra layer like a panel. Okay, so we'll use that. So let's start from the bottom, work our way up. So this folded in half. And then take the top piece and fold it back right there to the seam. And I'll show you this here on its side so you can see exactly where the fold is. But this corner here goes right to here. So there. Okay, so that's done. But this piece of design, oh, look at that. Hold, hold on, just wait a minute. This piece is going to be this little closure. So I'm going to score this right here at a half an inch.
Okay, so that's scored. I know I definitely want to do that, but this other side of the paper, that looks good. That's too busy. This? Well, where's that label? I don't know. What do you think? Wait just a minute. I wish I could sneeze tiny. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to try it. I kind of wish this paper was going this way, but that's okay. Okay. So, okay. Something new. I will take this and attach it. Because nothing fancy happens with this paper, other than it's just a layer of cuteness. I really like that paper. Okay, and then this here just gets stuck in place. Yeah, the two the two prints, that's too fancy. That's that's too much. Okay, let's see how this looks. I love jade. I think that's my new favorite color. But it changes on a every other day basis. Well, it's stuck on there, so it is going to be like that. Okay, and I would say let's put this in, but I want to stamp on it first. Because I know you don't make mistakes, but I make mistakes. Okay, let's work on the flower. So the flower... is on here and big stamp and let's do it in flirty flamingo boy they look they just look so different okay flirty flamingo just plain good and Get that cleaned. Got it on my bubbly side. The other side is more of a rinse side. There's no bubbles on that side. Okay. So then stamp it a second time. That looks good. A second time in. Um, this one I want to do the same with this two tone. I'll stamp it in bumblebee and then use a dauber in coral. Okay, coral, coral, ready to roll. Bumblebee. Okay, Get plenty of ink on there. Then just a little bit of coral. Be, be coral. Okay. And we just need that inner part. I'll cut this out in a minute. And then for the leaves, see, I need to stamp the stem and do these little leaves. And that's in jade. So here's the little leaves. Okay, and then the stem. So when I did the stem earlier, I stamped it and it was crooked not just a little crooked but that's really crooked so I had to cut out the paper again so this time I'm going to make sure I get it right and then the positioning looking at this one 
I'll put it in right about here. Is not as low as I could go, but pretty low, allowing enough room for the words. I guess if I did it too low, I wouldn't have enough room for words because the flower would be in the way. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it straight. Okay, good this time, but just to be aware, not sure how I got so crooked. So all these pieces I am going to hand cut and this one here, they, these are all around the outside edge, but this one, I'm going to go right here along this little white line. And you know, on the last video, we were talking about cutting. And not that I try to make everything a game, but with this, I don't know why, but I did. So I'll show you what it is. If you open your scissors up all the way, try to do it in one motion all the way around and that makes for a smoother cut too rather than starting and stopping if you keep going look at that just end it up right there at the tip anyhow i have these all cut out you could do that little cutting game if you want in the comments let me know how it goes if you have this set give it a try so here they are, pieces and pieces and pieces. So let's put together our flower. For the flower, I'm gonna use many dimensionals, cut in half. Here's one. And then I'm going to put glue on the center of the flower to hold it down so it makes it look like the petals are kind of um, happy to find the sunshine. And I did that the same with the leaf. Oh, you know, while I'm at it, I might as well put dimensionals on the leaf, too. Put them way out to the end if possible. Okay, where's that little leaf? Here it is. And with the leaf, same thing. Dimensionals way out to the end without them being seen. Okay, so these things are sticky, ready to roll. So on here, a little bit of glue right here, just a little bit. Then, this will lay right over the top. Okay, dimensionals are holding it on. And I could sit here and hold this, but I have a new favorite thing. Somewhere, right here. This was, this had a helium balloon on it, and it was attached to the flowers. Kept it, and it's my new best friend. It's gonna hold it for me. Love that. Okay, so if this goes here, it's going to go way at the top. So, put a little liquid glue there. That's probably like two-thirds of the way up. And, okay, make sure it's straight. Okay, it's on hold with dimensionals. I guess I need another, I need, I need more balloons and flowers. So I can hold it down. Oh, it's staying. Okay, that's good. Just keep staying. Does that look crooked? Well, Mother Nature does things, depending on where the sunshine is. So how about if we put our words here? This one I did the things. Hey friend, I might do it opposite. The words in here are great. That's definitely too long. You're perfectly unique. I think I'm going to do the hey friend because it's small. Hey friend. And that I'll do in Night of the Navy. Then the question is what to do on the inside. 
the inside of the sample card I got a little crazy it's a little bit too much stuff going on there that looks good so I could do the words I want to do the things thanks so much and when you do this with this card drop it down just a little bit lower I'll show you why good um, same thing with when you're decorating the inside so here's a finished card if I did it way up here and I saw the top of thanks so much that wouldn't look good and the same thing with decorating the bottom if I had all kinds of stuff going down on here it'd be too busy so I just put flowers on the inside. This time I think I'm going to do it somehow a little, a little calmer. Stuck together. Let's build the flower. See, it looks like I did the stem crooked again. So I'm going to put a bow over it. You know I really tried. Why does that happen? I don't know. Well, it's handmade. It's crooked. Man. Okay, so for decorating, how about maybe like it's leaning? Because the front is so crooked, okay, I'm going to take the stem. And so you all know, with polymer stamps, you can make it as curvy as you want to make it. Just like that. Just jade. Curvy stem. I'm going to put it over here just a little bit. I don't want it to peek out from underneath the front of the card. But I want room for the leaves. Well, that's all looking good. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. Oh, you know what? That's kind of cute. Yeah, I planned that. I'm trying to justify my curvy, crooked front. Oh, and hey, I was cutting out that other one. That's perfect to put in here. Yeah. Just finish cutting it out. Start again. I went off track there. Well, that's cute. Liquid glue, because it's on the inside. See, this one isn't as crazy. That other one, a little over ambitious. Okay. So we have the inside done. Well, let me make sure it gets covered up. Yep. So to attach these pieces, this little bit here, I'm going to put tear tape right here close to this bridge. And then in here, close to the valley. This is tear and tape because you really want it to hang on. You know? A little bit more. 
And I pause there for just a minute. I'll show you. After doing the first one, it's like, gosh, I wish it was a longer piece. And I just add it on. But everyone's smarter when you do your second one, right? So this is going to go on here. So it's all sticky right there. I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm looking at how much is here, how much is here. And then close the door. Okay, so now it's stuck on right here with the tear tape, which we know isn't going to go anywhere. So the reason I didn't put it right here and then use regular adhesive there is because now I could do the whole edge in one motion. Okay, and then the rest can get regular adhesive. But I really want this hinge part to hang on. Uh-oh. Sounds like this one's running out too. Okay, so this gets put, and I'm not going to worry about this at all. I'm just looking at the white piece, these two corners, making sure that they're equal to each other. So top corner, bottom corner, they look equal, so now I'll set it down. Okay, so that's hanging on really good there. And it all gets covered. I don't have words sticking out here and flowers sticking out down there. Okay, so now just for this and then a little decorating. You know what? That is really cute. This one is a little bit more busy with these patterns. I'm liking this one. Oh, we have to put a bow on. Where is my Baker Twine Essential Pack? How about, because this is so thin, I'm going to do a double bow. If you want to learn how to do double bows, Okay, triple bow. Um, one of my very first videos when I was getting into YouTube, right at the beginning of COVID, was a double bow because I learned how to do it and um, I do it for people at class and everyone's like, how do you do that? So that was my first experience trying, okay, let's do a YouTube video. But you have to scroll way back there. And I think it's called, or even if you just go into the search field and do double bow, and I think it's called a double bow makes everything better. What covers up my words? How about up here higher? Not down there. Okay, so. Glue dot. I'm going to fold that over. Otherwise, that big pancake of a glue dot is just too big. I really like how this one is turning out. Okay, so no glue right here, but glue all over there. Then, maybe glue right here. Look at that. That is just so sweet. Okay, so all that's left is a few embellishments. This one I used some um, sequins. And this time I want to use From My Heart Faceted Gems. And these came out last year in the catalog with Valentine's Day. And they made it to the current catalog. And what's nice is you think, oh, yep, yeah, red 
pink and white, that's Valentine's Day. But if you just pick out the pink and white, it could be for any occasion. So I'm going to put a big one here, and then maybe I'll put five of them on here. How about one, two, three, four, five. You know, I have to count them. Otherwise, I lose track. Now this one is going to get a medium, because these big ones are really big. I'm going to get a medium white one for right here. And I might use all white. Two. Okay, a big one. Three. Here's another big one. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, six. Here's a little bitty one. I think the pink ones might be cute though. Because there's um, the flirty flamingo, that's pink. Okay, here's a medium one. Okay. This card is done. Isn't that just the sweetest, cute little card? I would love to receive something like this. So thank you for watching, and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And in a few days, I will post all the details, including all the products used and the paper cut sizes on my blog. And my blog is jillybling.com. And if you don't already have a demonstrator, I appreciate any orders very, very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.